we hear a lot about gluten these days. It's becoming at least bigger and bigger in the news. Is that a problem to gut health, or is that just a the story of the week sort of thing? No, I mean, for, I mean certainly if you've got full-bone celiac disease, you need to really be off every measurable amount of gluten, or else you can get very sick, uh, lethally sick over a period of years. There are other people, on the other hand, who are very sensitive to gluten, uh, for whatever reason, we haven't really defined the mechanisms. Uh, a doctor uh, up in uh, Harvard, uh, Alessio Fasano, uh, has done some research showing that the gluten itself may actually change the expression of a protein called zonulin, which actually modulates the integrity and lining of the gut. And that may, help, that may be a, a harbinger for autoimmune disease. That's what his research is beginning to show, but we need you know, more data to understand the mechanisms of how gluten can affect people adversely. But if you put a, a number of people on a gluten-free diet, they will feel better. Um, and that's, that we're trying to learn more about that as well. So the answer is yes, there, there may be a connection for uh, a certain population of people that can benefit by that. Mm -hmm. So I think it's something that we have to keep in the back of our mind. Even as gastroenterologists, we see people with irritable bowel and there's evidence out there to show that some people will respond to a gluten-free diet. Gluten seems to be talked about so much more, more, more of a problem in the last 20, 20 years, five years or so. I never heard of it, you know, back a quarter century ago. Why is that? Well, I think what we're finding, if you look at the way the wheat is today versus the way it was 40 years ago, the gluten content is astronomically higher. Mm. So I think that is, it's a matter of load. Uh, in, in, in processing, uh, at least in my mind, is, is one, one reason why. But, you know, Bill Davis goes into this in his book, Wheat Belly, uh, more, and now David Perlmutter in Grain Brain. But, but I think we've overloaded our bodies beyond the capacity to what we were, you know, if you believe in the, the paleo philosophy is the way we were genetically engineered not to deal with this large of a tolerance. So sometimes it's a, it, the poison that we see is a matter of dosage. Mm -hmm. It, it becomes a poison if we're really overwhelmed with that protein, and some people handle it better than others.